in AFRL's 7-11th Human Performance Wing. Efforts in aerospace physiology involve both research and test and evaluation. Not only do we evaluate next-generation aircraft pilot life support systems to combat gravitational pull and pressures at varying altitudes, but we also use that data to study and expand our knowledge to improve the performance of our pilots and air crews. Moreover, much like other areas of our labs, we have world-renowned experts and facilities to accomplish our multifaceted mission. Our centrifuge, which was brought online in 2018, is used to evaluate and reduce the risk of gravity-induced loss of consciousness, or G-lock. Over recent years, approximately 1,200 pilots and aircrew across the Department of Defense, as well as from more than 20 partner nations, used this facility to learn and practice the anti-G straining maneuver, and also to receive coaching and evaluation in a safe, controlled environment. Now, the training portion of our mission lies with our partners at Air Education and Training Command. We still share this facility between the training, test, and evaluation, and research missions, which assesses the effects, impacts, and mitigation of gravitational forces on our pilots and air crews. The centrifuge plays a critical role in aerospace physiology research studies that cover a variety of topics, from situational awareness and high-G environments, to modeling brain physiology prior to, during, and following G-lock events. These studies ensure air crew members across the Department of Defense are able to optimally perform in the most arduous flight conditions. Our centrifuge also has swappable cockpits, which allows for aircraft platform-specific testing. It's not uncommon for astronauts from NASA, SpaceX, and Boeing to visit the wing to test their cockpits in our centrifuge prior to launch. We have four research altitude chambers, or racks, that, like the centrifuge, serve as vital components of our research mission. Rack 1 can hold up to 20 people for studies typically focused on hypoxia, lack of oxygen to the brain, decompression sickness, and human performance at high altitude. Rack 2 was designed specifically for large equipment up to the size of a Humvee and aircraft life support system studies. Its testing temperatures range from 150 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 67 degrees Fahrenheit. And like Rack 1, the second chamber can simulate an altitude as high as 100,000 feet for testing equipment without people inside. Rack 3 was designed with humans in mind, like Rack 1, and its specialty is rapid decompression in as fast as 0.04 seconds with qualified participants inside. Rack 3 is also temperature controlled and suited for other research. Sitting next to Rack 3 is what could be called the little brother of the bunch a much smaller Rack 4, used for rapid decompression or small equipment, such as cell phones, medical equipment, computers, and the like. Measuring just 45 cubic feet, Rack 4 is tiny but packs the same punch as its bigger siblings, with an altitude ceiling of 100,000 feet. The four racks, as well as our centrifuge, join a growing family of cutting-edge technology at the Air Force Research Laboratory and create an epicenter for aerospace physiology research. Thank you.